uh, Mr. Leho. Um, is it correct that? Sir, if you would sit down, please. Yes, we'll, we'll do that. Um, is it correct, Mr. Leho, that you legally described the depth and front of our riparian golf front parcel as 50 by 135? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Leo, is it correct that our riparian golf front parcel 12, 44, 20, 01, 00, 15, 015A is bounded by the natural boundary of the Gulf of Mexico? I was only reviewing the property regarding the application submitted to our office. Uh, you didn't answer the question. I'm asking you, the parcel you are you need to looking only at. ask him questions about what he testified to. He didn't yes, he testified to 50 by 135, ma'am. But he did okay. not testify as to any repairing him, right? I'm so asking, I'm not talking him. about, okay, I asked the question, not you. Uh, Objection. I'm asking, sir. I'm asking you to, to sir, allow me to ask. No, let's go back, sir, because if you are insulting to me, we're going to enjoy adjourn the hearing and you won't be asking any more questions. You asked me, ma'am, to clarify. Uh, to, to ask questions in regard to his statements. He stated 50 by 135. So in reply to that statement, I asked him, is our riparian parcel, which is merely an adjective and properly characterizes our land parcel, is our riparian Gulf Front land parcel ending on 015A bounded by the natural boundary of the Gulf of Mexico, yes or no? Mr. Alejo, does the property have the Gulf of Mexico next to it? Is it does it run up next to the, the Gulf of Mexico? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Who owns the street land and the street easement which adjoins the riparian upland? Okay. He didn't testify as any information about an easement, so so that question is not appropriate. Ma'am, I'm asking who owns the street, land, and easement. We hold title to that street, land. I understand what your question is. He didn't testify as to that. He testified uh, specifically as to the, what he felt the size was and the application that his office received and the inspections that he made. He did not make any testimony in regards to any easements. Ma'am, any and all testimony by Mr. Leo is in reference to that parcel. Any mischaracterization any concealment of the fundamental characteristics is a criminal activity. Sir, I've ruled on that question. It's not relevant. You have another question. What is not relevant? The questioning of Mr. Alejo as to uh, a street easement. Ma'am, you didn't testify. Uh, to a uh, allow easement. me to be polite. You contradict yourself. You asked to clarify the size Sir, of the area. That was your first question. <laughs> Sir, uh, yes. the question is not relevant and it will not be asked. Okay. So if you have another question, you can move on to that. Based on the, uh, Mr. Leo, based on your statement that that parcel is bounded by the Gulf of Mexico, what approximately is the area and the size? A question that the magistrate judge had earlier raised. Objection. Objection uh, is not uh, valid. Thank you. Thanks. Yes, Mr. please answer. Leo, did you testify that it was 50 by 135? I did testify that it was 50 by 135. Okay. So what's the size? Uh, what is the approximate size, knowing that you stated that the boundary is the Gulf of Mexico? What, what's your question? The question is what he believes is the approximate size based on his previous statement of the boundary of the Gulf he of Mexico. He just answered that. He said 50 He has not. It's impossible. Yeah. Right, sir, uh, okay, the next okay. question, Mr. Leo. Mr. Leo, did you look... Mr. Leo, uh, what is the size of that parcel which you stated is bounded by the Gulf of Mexico? Okay, this is the third time you've asked him that, Mr. Leo. This last time I'll, I'll allow the question to be asked. Would you please answer? I've size? answered that it is 50 by 135. Okay, we're not going to ask that question again. That's the third time you've answered that. Um, 
the question is, uh, okay, my, my question is to you, Mr. Leo, uh, the street that is platted on the 1912 plat, who holds title to that adjoining street, the title to which runs with? He, did, he didn't testify as to any title matters whatsoever. Right, so that's not a relevant Ma'am, we're talking about a land parcel, and you're, you're prejudicial because you're excluding, uh, he's saying it is 50 by 135 when the surveyor said, and that's prima facie evidence, which you seem to uh, refute or ignore, it's 2.5 acres. So ma'am, I'm asking him if he looked for the beehives on the street land, which we hold title to, yes or no? You can ask him where he looked for the beehives, that's, that's what I just did, I guess. He testified that he didn't see any beehives. You can ask him that question. You can ask him about title issues and things he didn't testify to. So it's your question, where did he look for the beehives? Yes, where did you look for I the beehives? Apply. On the 50 by 135 lot that was applied for. Did you, uh, no, we applied under lot 15A, which includes the street. Did you look for any beehives um, on our adjoining street land? We reviewed the property and we didn't see any bee, bee yards or bee boxes. Uh, Mr. Leo, I asked you, did you see any beehives on the adjoining platted street land to which the petitioners hold perfected, automatically quieted title? Yes or no? Objection. Mr. Lamb, did you look anywhere else besides the 50 by 135 that, that uh, your oh, office gives the, the, the amount of land that was uh, Just applied for? Back. I reviewed the property that was applied for only. Mr. Alejo, we have, we, uh, sir, yes. sir, you're not part of the hearing, okay? You shouldn't even be discussing things with this gentleman. Um, this is his chance to ask questions. You swore me in as a participant. That's correct. And I call the man correct. Okay, each person, uh, okay. this um, gentleman needs to ask a question. Uh, Go ahead. I'm, I'm addressing this to the magistrate judge. Mag magistrate judge, you're prejudicial and uh, misrepresenting the characteristics of the application. The, the parcel is what the public record says it is. You will not tell me today that I applied sir, for 50, I'm sorry, let me finish. No, sir, we're not going to get into this. Do you have any more questions? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. You've got five more minutes for questions. Yes. Um, because at quarter of six, your question asking time will be uh, concluded. Correct. So what is the size in feet and thirty inches the length? The length uh, Mr. Leo, you said that the property is bounded by the Gulf of Mexico. Did you look alongside the boundary of the Gulf of Mexico for any bees? Objection. <laughs> Mischaracterizes the witness's testimony. Uh, Mr. Leo, please answer. Objection. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Um, Mr. Alejo, what is the lot size in feet and inches? Okay, he's already he's answered that. To the, three, three to, the Mexico, to the Gulf of Mexico. To the Gulf of Mexico, which he has said bounds the lot. Well, he testified he looked at the property at 50 by 135, and that's where he looked for these. Is there, is there a different question that you're asking? We'd like yes. to know the size. He's to answered that. No, to the yeah. Gulf of Mexico. He said that his office has a size it's because 50 we own 135 feet. 135 does not bring it to the Gulf of Mexico. Right. So, because 135 does not bring it to the Gulf of Mexico, uh, you gave an incorrect answer. Okay. What is it? What is the length? Is what is the depth okay. to the Gulf of Mexico? It is not 135. Please state to this audience the depth to the Gulf of Mexico, which you conceded was the boundary. Objection. Um, Mr. Leija, do you know the answer to that question? I do not have that okay. answer. He doesn't Approximately. know. Approximately. He doesn't know. He has an answer. He already answered and said he didn't know. That's okay, what is, uh, how do you typically determine that distance? Do you believe that it is more than a thousand feet? If he doesn't know, he can't 
It's the 